Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are now on working with ancestors and ancestral rituals are traditional but they derive from the veneration of the dead in African traditions. This is now more popular worldwide than it ever was thought it could be and includes working with spirit guides. It is practiced to aid us in everyday life with guidance from spirits. Ancestors usually refer to them being sort of blood relatives. So if you're working with an ancestor, usually you'll say it's a blood relative. However, there is a bigger belief than that. Some believe that it's everyone because everyone is an ancestor. We are all connected in some way or another. I tend to believe that very much. I think we're connected to the earth, the universe and everyone. We're all connected in some way. Some people will keep it strictly bloodline and others will use it to connect with deities. I do that too, but on a less larger scale than most, I think. There's no wrong, there's no right way, remember. This is all very personal in choice. It is just the tradition that comes from the veneration of the dead and the celebration of life while keeping their memories alive even when they have passed. Ancestors, however you see them, are what you choose. You will feed their soul. You will keep their memories alive and appease them with gifts. In return, they will come and aid us in our life when they are needed. They will give us advice and show us the way. They will do this very much sometimes in very small signs. So we have to keep our eyes out because it could just be something as simple as a number, um, a feather, a stone, a crystal. It's, it all varies. It's very much personal, isn't it? When doing ancestral rituals, you do not need to know the names, though you might think it was needed. You don't. In hoodoo, the belief is that dead go on to ascend to another level, um, sometimes even another form. This means they can come through as animals. Other beings are just themselves. They will guide us every day. They will be there for us when we need them, and they can show this in small or large ways. So remember, it can actually just be an animal. It's us that miss the signs they are sending, and we do this a lot. We usually say, oh, that means nothing, or we don't take note, or we just shrug it off. If we didn't do that and I actually took note, we may be surprised. Ancestors can grant such things as luck. They can go and curse others. They can bring us so much in our everyday lives. They have great powers, and they do wield the authority over our path. And the way that we are guided is through them. The spirits of the dead have all the emotions we do. It's very important to understand that if the person was bad in life, they're probably going to be bad in death. So remember to be careful who you're contacting. If you need to connect with a negative energy, preparations should be made beforehand. A murderer in life is still a murderer in death. Jinxes, hexes and curses when graveyard dirt is used. It comes from that kind of grave. So harmful magic requires an harmful spirit, basically. And, and I know I'm saying harmful. I don't see it as harmful. I see it as just deserved. But what I'm saying is if you want negative forces, you will have to connect with a negative energy. You know, there's negative, they're positive, they're both needed. Any positive spell work can come from kind ancestors to aid success in the spell. Ancestors can also aid us connecting to other realms and spiritual beings, connect us better with the earth and the universe. Root workers do not worship their ancestors, but they venerate them. This is a little different. A great way to begin connecting to your ancestors is to create an altar for them. You can have pictures, tokens of remembrances, gifts such as flowers, alcohol and food. The idea is to create a worship area for them and every day light a white candle for them and meditate as you think about your ancestor. Simply wait for them to reach out to you. Watch for the small signs, feathers, strong winds, candle flames dancing when it should be still.
Ancestors may take their time coming through and it can take several periods of weeks. Patience is very much the key when we are working with ancestors. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that working with ancestors is something that is very much a positive thing, even if it's a negative energy you're connecting with. So it's very important that we keep their memory alive. It's the same with deities. Create a little area, meditate daily, light them a candle, give them flowers, alcohol and food. They will come. It is us that miss the signs. Thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if possible and many blessings.